Hey Cancer, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your love reading for May 24th to the 31st. The end of May love reading for my Cancers, please, Spirit. We're jumping straight into it with an Oracle card message for my Cancers for May 24th to the 31st. Love reading for my Cancers. May 24th to the 31st. Love reading for my Cancers. Last shuffle. May 24th to the 31st. Love reading for my Cancers. Alrighty. We have Elf Mischief. So it's time for you to loosen up and have some fun. Ooh, gnome custodianship. I feel like you've been handling biz. Ooh, you may want to get out into the earth and plant some flowers. Get out in the woods, in the wild, have fun. Or you may want to plant some flowers with someone. For some of you, that could be a date. Picking flowers or planting them. Groundhog. I said, why did I say groundhog? Black hound foreboding. I don't know why I said groundhog. That may mean something for someone. Lizard survival. Okay. I don't know why I got the phrase all work and no play. I feel like it's telling you to have fun. For some of you, if you've been playing too much, it's time to get down to business. But this is like a warning? Hold on. Survival. With survival, you are going to make it through this. I feel like they want you to... Let me clarify. Let me get into the tarot. This is a love reading, but these cards be something else. I'm just saying. But I feel like you are going to go on a date, and it could be in like a wooded area or just like somewhere where there's flowers and nature. And I feel like you're going to be picking flowers with someone or planting them. So like humanitarian stuff is what I'm getting. All right, so for Cancer's love reading for May 24th to the 31st. Cancer's love reading May 24th to the 31st. Last shuffle for Cancer love reading May 24th to the 31st. This is really cute. I don't know why I got the foreboding. Because the, the foreboding, the Black Hound is a warning card. The overall energy being lizard, you're going to make it through this situation. You're going to adapt. But it's like, it starts off great. Let me, let's just pull some tarot and see what's going on. Yeah, three of swords. Okay, yeah, so there's some mischief afoot. Something that's either going to break your heart or someone who already has. Yeah, the tower. Yeah, so something heartbreaking is coming to the forefront. This is a warning Three of Cups. It could have been a third party situation. So for some of my cancers, you're going to find out that someone cheated. Um, if you haven't already. And it's going to be really heartbreaking. Or someone who cheated is coming back to you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Oh, pathetic. Pathetic ass person. Really immature. Never come non-committal. Dragged their feet to commit and barely offered, if anything, a, the most pathetic form of commitment they possibly could offer is what they're coming back to offer you or what they did in the past. This person wants to reunite with you and start again. If there was someone that you dealt with in the past, if you're not currently going through this, this is a past person who did put you in a third party, who did break your heart. They're having a tower moment and now they want to reunite with you and offer you something. Also, it could be a tower moment. Yeah. This could be the tower moment, them offering you something, but I feel like they went through a tower moment and got what they deserve. Two of swords. You don't even want to see the shit. You gonna block the shit with the two of swords. You don't want that little ass pinnacle from this little ass person. And then we got the queen of swords. Yeah, you're not going for it. You're not going for it. And um, this is also a warning that if someone from your past, especially if they're um, an Aquarius, because we have the full card as the overall energy. It could be any sign for you, though. But, um, no. Especially if they had you in a third party. For some of you, you may not even know they had you in a third party or that they're still dealing with a third party when they come back. If they broke your heart, this is already resonating. If they broke your heart in the past, especially with a third party, and they're going to come back in, dragging their feet, taking forever, and they're going to offer you a lot less than you deserve, and you're going to block the crap out of them with the two of swords if this hasn't happened already. With the full card, you want somebody new. You want a new journey and a new beginning. This reading is for, obviously, for the singles or for people, yeah, the singles who just want a new beginning. With the full card, you want someone new. You don't want somebody from your past. And I feel you on that one. Ugh. Clarify this for my cancers, please, spirit. 
Clarify this message for my Cancers, please, Spirit. And last shuffle for my Cancers. Don't want to be dealing with nobody from your past. And you're going to cut them off right when they come. They're going to see them at the door. That's what you're going to do. And we love to see it. Clarifying the Three of Swords is the Three of Wands. So we have three threes. Three of Swords, Three of Wands, and Three of Cups. So some of you could be hearing from the side person. If you haven't already, I feel I'm getting strong. Some the side person is going to come in and tell you what's up. We have the High Priestess, Pisces. Yep, this is somebody who knows. So either you can feel this coming and you can cut it off at the door because I feel like your intuition is extremely powerful at this time and it's only going to get stronger towards the end of the month. You feel this coming, you know this is coming. Also, like I said, the side chick, the High Priestess is usually seen as the hidden woman when it comes to situations like this. They're going to reach out. This You could be the, the person reaching out or this, someone's coming towards you to tell you about this third party situation. I feel like it's the side person. Side chick, side non-binary, side male. So the side is coming. Clarifying the towers, the ten of wands. Yeah, heavy burden being put to rest. I feel like you had a, a sneaking suspicion, but it's going to be confirmed. The eight of cups. Yep, you're walking away and getting a new beginning. So I can stop the reading right here, to be honest. Cancer, you're finding out whether you're or not you're still with this person or someone you're not talking to right now, someone you cut off or someone from the past. Whatever timeline you're on, you're going to find out about a third party situation and it's going to allow you to officially cut someone off and walk away mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. It's cut off time. You're no longer going to invest in whoever this is. Again, whether you're with this person currently, you just recently cut them off, you blocked them, you're not talking to them. I don't care how long it's been, yesterday, last week, years from now, are you still together? You're going to find out about an infidelity because the side chick, side guy, side whoever is going to contact you and tell you about it. It's going to come straight from the horse's mouth. If not this person, you're going to find something out. And I feel like it's going to come to the door. Clarifying the three cups is the two of pentacles. Yeah, juggling. So if this has already happened to you, this person's come back around, but they're still juggling, they're still the same. Or if this hasn't happened to you, if you didn't know anything about this in the past, there's someone from your past coming back to offer you something and you didn't know they cheated or you don't know that they're still cheating, um, you're going to find out. We have the Emperor Aries. So this could be a father figure, someone who's older, or someone who's just controlling and they're juggling. They like to be in control. They like Juggling and having other parties and third parties makes them feel like they're in control. Clarifying the page of pentacles is the seven of swords. Yeah, someone from your past is going to try to offer you friendship or a small new beginning. They got some tricks up their sleeves with the seven of swords. This is the lying, cheating, stealing card. So they're either lowballing you on purpose, going to promise commitment and never do it. They're going to drag their feet. They're offering you friendship. It's all whatever they're offering you. Uh, whatever they're offering you is bullshit. Okay, they're playing games with you. Knight of Swords. This is someone who's trying to win at all costs with you. So if you tell them no, they're just going to keep trying. They're going to keep offering you what you want. They're not going to leave you alone. This is someone who just wants to win. And like I said, having other parties makes them feel in control. They want what they can't have. So they're just trying to see if they can get you. Clarifying the Two of Swords is the Five of Wands. So when you reject this person, all hell is going to break loose. They're going to be bitter and angry and try to fight you. With the Nine of Swords, they, don't, they can't handle rejection. This person cannot handle rejection. They're going to lose a lot of sleep over you and they're going to try to fight you and you're just going to block them. Yeah, clarifying the Queen of Swords is the Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself and the Knight of Cups. And because you do that, you're going to get a love offer. Overall energy is the Six of Swords. You're letting this person go officially, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. You're letting this player, this controlling piece of shit person go. For some of you, this stems from childhood, a father figure, or a mother who was cold, a father who was controlling, or vice versa, whatever. But regardless of what it is, with the Queen of Swords clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, that is sweat, grit, and craftsmanship, putting in the work on yourself inwardly and, out and manifesting it outwardly. That is what you are doing. With the Queen of Swords, you're no longer open to this. You're very cold to this person, and rightfully so. They're coming to you with a bullshit-ass apology and love offer. Again, less than you deserve. With the Page of Pentacles, that is a whole hell of a lot less than you fucking deserve. Okay? And it's just disrespectful to me that they're coming to you like this, honestly. This person. Ooh, let me, let me breathe. 
okay? Just be aware. A piece of shit from your past is trying to come back. Someone who had you in a third party, whether you know it or not, and the side chick is going to expose their ass. And if you find out that you're the side person, you found out about another person, I mean, if you want to reach out to them, you can, you know? But somebody going to find out about it regardless, and you're going to officially, officially leave this piece of shit behind. We got the full card and the six of swords, the overall energy, a new beginning. And once you leave them behind and you're working on yourself, you're going to get new love. I see new love for you. Oh, yeah. I see new love for you. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person's going to contact you. All right, Cancer. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.